Hello Crazy Talk Animators and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to show you how to make the, a full set of animated hand gestures for G3 characters. So if you have a character and you wish to customize your own character, uh, you can do this by creating um, all the sprites and creating all the different gestures for the hand sprites. When creating your hand gestures, you'll notice that inside the PSD group template you have different folders inside each hand. These folders are specific to those hand gestures that we need to create. So for example, for the left hand, I will need up to 20, 29 different hand gestures. These can be from relaxed to the victory sign, seven, okay, and all the rest. So each specific sprite has to be allocated into that specific folder under that particular hand. So what we're going to do here is that I'm going to open a PSD file where I previously created all 30 of the different hand layers for my character. Now these don't necessarily have to be in the same order. Uh, just make sure that they have the same dimensions and everything. And I have all these sprites here for the hand, all the gestures. We can see we have six rows times five rows, so that's 30. And I have them all in layers. So I'm going to select all of these layers, all of these sprites. And what I want to do is that I'm going to bring these in into the original PSD structure that we have, which you can find on our webpage. So what you want to do is um, obviously you want to rename these sprites so that it's easy to track. For example, we have the relax gesture, victory gesture, uh, the number seven hand gesture, the, the OK one. So you want to make sure that you have everything properly labeled. And this is for you, not for Crazy Talk Animator 3. So just make sure that the rounded edges of the hand, uh, you have these rounded edges, which will be where the joints connect. And we're going to select all of these, and we're going to align them. I'm going to align them vertically, and then align to top of the edge so that we have all the sprites in the, in the same position. So go to the folder here, the hand folder that we have in our PSD template file, and you want to import all these layered hands. Remember, they have to be in the same position. They have to be aligned. Bring them over and just drop them in into the same position where we have our left hand and make sure that we drop them inside the folder. And as far uh, for the original folder, the, the, the original sprite, I'm sorry, you want to delete that hand there. Okay, we don't need that one there. We have the other one for boxing glove, but we're going to leave that as is because we're going to use that sprite later. And then in Photoshop, just click on the eye icon and hold it and drag all the way up. And that way we will hide all the other sprites. Now this won't delete them, it'll just hide the visibility. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for the other hand. So the cool thing about this, I'm going to go to the folder here for the right hand. The cool thing about this is that I don't have to create all the sprites from, from, from scratch. I can use the same sprites that we had before. And the only thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to flip them. I'm going to go into free transform and I'm going to flip them horizontally. So this is basically like a mirror uh, function that I can use. And now I could use the exact same sprites for the right hand. So let's select all of these and bring them into the folder for the right hand, right under there, okay? And I want to align these to that joint, for to the wrist joint that we have. And then do the same thing. Go down to the right hand and simply delete that sprite because it's redundant. We don't need that at this point. All right, okay, so let's uh, hide all these other sprites. Remember, just because you're hiding them does not mean that you're deleting them. They're still gonna be there, but we just wanna work with the original default one. And you have to make sure that they have the same order sequence. Now, this is important because once you bring them into Crazy Talk Animator 3, um, the, the structure will, fo will follow the sequence that you have, the order sequence for your character. So please refer to the sample project to see the full sequence of the sprites. All right, so once we're done, we're going to save this. I'm going to give it another name. Let's call this PSD Actor 3. Let's save this. Yes, please. And then I'm going to go into Crazy Talk Animator 3.1. And I'm going to go to my original character here. And you'll see that we have, um, originally we just have two sprites, the hand and the boxing glove that we did in the previous tutorial. Also the shoes and the tennis shoes. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to replace those PSDs. 
I'm going to go into my character composer. I'm going to import PSD assets. And I'm going to look for that PSD file, which I just saved, number three. And this time I'm going to select full actor because I replaced two parts, right hand and the left hand. So I'm going to click on OK. And PSD file successful, successfully update, I'm sorry, updated. And I'm going to go into a sprite editor. And now you can see that we have all these sprite gestures in place. All right. So as long as you follow that structure, um, that we have, then you will you will get you will be able to to quickly import all of these hand gestures, and just what like we have them for the left hand, we have them for the right hand also. All right, so that's very very quick. We also have the boxing glove at the end. So now that we have our character ready, we're going to go back to the stage, and I wish to test my character. So inside uh, the folder, we also have a motion file. This motion file can be used to test these gestures. All right, so I can use, I can have the both of these characters uh, side by side. I can do a, a quick playback. And I'm gonna bring that hand pose calibration motion and we can test all those hand gestures for my character. Thumbs up, closed fists. All right, hands open, closed thumbs. So we have all these different gestures. And you can use all of these to try the calibrations for your character. So as you notice, it's very, very easy to start bringing in all these gestures, all these different sprites for the hands, for the feet, just as long as you follow the structures that we have inside and you properly replace your sprites that you make in Photoshop with the structure that we provide in the PSD.